The dangers of teething necklaces for babies. On the Health Watch tonight, a grieving mother is filing suit saying the product meant to alleviate pain caused her son's death. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with all the details. This is yeah. very sad. Sad story, guys. You know, the FDA has issued warnings about potential dangers linked to teething necklaces. Toddlers can choke on the beads, and this new lawsuit says a necklace from a popular retailer strangled a little boy. <laughs> you silly. Oh, silly boy. Deacon Morin's mother, Danielle, says her baby boy's smile lit up a room. Oh, I love you too. These home videos are heartbreaking reminders of the baby who is gone now. It scares me for other parents. In December of 2016, Deacon was found strangled to death after a necklace he was wearing tightened around his neck and didn't release. The necklace was given to his mother as a gift by a close friend. It was bought on the website Etsy.com. This is the online receipt. It describes the necklace as a Baltic amber teething necklace for your baby. Baby necklaces, if you use a baby necklace, should have a releasing safety class. So if it, there's any pulling on it, it releases. This one that was purchased on Etsy.com had a screw on clasp that could not be released and caused him to suffocate. Danielle Moran's attorney, John Carpenter, says Etsy is liable for Deacon's death and has filed a lawsuit against Etsy and the Lithuanian company that provided the necklace. The terms of use listed on Etsy's website say in part, the items in our marketplace are produced, listed, and sold directly by independent sellers. So Etsy cannot and does not make any warranties about their quality, safety, or even their legality. Any legal claim related to an item you purchase must be brought directly against the seller of the item. You release Etsy from any claims related to items sold through our services. Carpenter says Deacon's mother didn't agree to these legal disclosures because she received the necklace as a gift. I want parents to know that, you know, there is no more Toys R Us and people have to go online to buy products and these products are dangerous and these products aren't always safe. No parent should have to grieve a child. No parent should have to bury their child. I love you. Now, in a statement, Etsy says it cannot comment on active litigation. According to new guidelines from the FDA, parents should avoid purchasing teething jewelry, which includes necklaces or items worn around a baby's ankles or wrists. Important reminders for parents. Very, very yeah. important. Wow. Stephanie, thank mm -hmm. you.